A Jackson County school is defending its decision tonight to block an eight-year-old girl from getting her picture taken because of her hair. The principal says her red extensions violated school policy, but her father tells News 10's Nicole Buckman there's more to it than just her hair. Yeah, Marion Scott told me she cried and felt singled out when she wasn't allowed to have her school photo taken. Now her father is trying to get answers through his own tears. It, it, it's upsetting, you know. Marion Scott's baby picture proudly hangs on her parents' wall for all to see. But her third grade picture is missing since she was denied a school picture last week because of the red in her hair. So her hair is done in a bun. It's braided into a bun. This is uncalled for to pull them to the side. They didn't even call us. Marion didn't leave out the house, go down the street and go get this done on her own. She's eight years old. We did this ourselves in our own home. I mean, there's just no way that I felt like this would happen. The Paragon Charter Academy handbook says that students' hair color must be natural tones to get their picture taken. But what it doesn't state is the course of action if a student shows up with colored hair, leaving Doug confused and frustrated when Marion was told she couldn't get her picture taken but could return to class. If they at least would have reached out to us and said, hey, come get her, she's got a hair issue, we need you to change it, that's not allowed, I can show you in the handbook. They didn't even go to those extents. They let her stay in school. So if she's not a disruption to the class, then why is she a disruption to the picture? The school did send out a recorded message Sunday before photos were taken going over the dress code policy, a message Doug says he never heard or saw. Had I seen the email, I probably would have told Latoya, hey, don't even, don't even do it, even if it's school color. I think it's good that this happened because now people are going to get the opportunity to take a look at what's really going on. Now, I reached out to the school today and the principal told me students with a hair color or style violation are given a week or so to get it corrected, which is why Marion remained in class. Her family has no plans to send Marion to a different school, but they would like to see better communication from the Paragon administrators in the future. All right, Nicole, thank you. Marion did attend school this morning for the first time since that incident with all black hair. Her family plans on getting her picture taken on retake day, which is November 12th.